Hey y'all, I'm Tom. My call sign is ND3N. Welcome to the ND3N Ham Shack for a Ham Shack Chat. In a previous video, I mentioned that I really don't like using compression for any of my amateur radio communications. Uh, as a matter of fact, I rarely use voice modes on HF. This is a personal choice, but I prefer CW and digital modes, especially for contesting and chasing DX. Of course, I do expect that many of you guys enjoy voice modes on HF, so rather than just dismiss compression, it behooves me to show you how to adjust your FT991A accordingly. Now, keep in mind that by definition, compression is distortion. All is distortion. What you want to do is adjust your rig to the point where the compression enhances your voice without noticeable and unwanted distortion. It's actually a pretty simple process, but before I get to it, I want to discuss the human voice and how your radio system deals with it. The fundamental frequency, meaning that basic low frequency that everything else is based on, uh, for most typical adult males ranges from 85 to 155 hertz. And uh, for an adult female, that range is from 165 to 255 hertz. Now, if those numbers sound low to you, middle C on the piano is 261 hertz, which is a nice baritone or alto voice. Uh, we're not talking about singing voices, we're talking about your normal voice. Mine leans toward the lower side. The voice is much more complex than that, though. When you include harmonics, spurious frequencies, and normal abnormalities, yes, yes I, said I said normal, normal abnormalities. abnormalities. All of these are developed as air passes over the vocal cords, echoes around the sinuses, and then is reformed by the lips and tongues, and what comes out is your voice. Actually, the full range is 100 hertz to 8 kilohertz. That's for a male, and about 200 hertz to 17 kilohertz for a female. So, why do we narrow things down and focus on the 300 to 3000 hertz range? Simply, that's where the intelligibility and recognition of voice characteristics exist and is the range that the human ear is most sensitive. Uh, when you're talking on your cell phone or even <laughs> if you have a landline, that's the, that's the voice that comes out across. Uh, but, in short, that range is where most of our conversation happens. In a moment, we're going to take a look at the function pages and menu settings on the FT991A. And while we do it, uh, please know that several other Yesu rigs with digital signal processors or DSPs can be set up the same way, although the menu items and function names may be slightly different. Uh, basically, any modern rig that uses DSP, uh, you can set it up, but uh, you're going to have to go to your own owner's manual and figure all that out for yourself. I'm going to show you on the FT991A, which is uh, right over there. Right, right over my shoulder there. There are three levels of voice processing. Uh, the first level simply uses menu item 110 and is engaged when the mic equalizer is off and the processor is off, your compression is off. The next level is uh, using your DSP parametrics, which is going to be menu items 119 through 127 and not to worry I will get to those momentarily and you'll find uh, if you turn that on then your parametrics will be active. Now you have your processed parametrics which is the P 
uh, dash parameters, parametrics. Those are in menu items 128 through 139. To engage this third level, uh, you turn your processor on and you leave your mic equalizer on. Now, I'm going to start by demonstrating uh, improperly adjusted uh, voice. Uh, I have all of the menu items that we're going to discuss set to the default levels. So we're going to start by adjusting the ALC by turning up the mic gain. Uh, select that and turn it up and you should start to see the ALC start to deflect. And unfortunately that's all you're going to get, uh, which is yeah, kind of sad I guess. But uh, if uh, later on I'll show you how to adjust that properly. So you say, hey, well, you know, let me adjust my compression. You go select your meter to compression. Now you can see that my compression is way up. And so you know, people say, well, I'm going to turn this up as far as I can get it. So they start turning it up and turning it up. And you can start hearing my voice get, uh, uh, <laughs> get distorted and nasty. Uh, this is what uh, an improperly uh, adjusted voice sounds like. So let's go down and I'll show you how to adjust everything properly. Now we're going to start with the processor turned all the way down to zero. So I'm going to select that and turn that all the way down to zero. Well, there we go. You see that's all the way down to, well actually one. We're going to turn our mic equalizer off. We're going to turn our mic gain down to zero. And because it's the first thing we're going to set when we come back here, we're going to put our meter back on ALC. Now let's go to our menu settings. We're going to go up to menu item number 110, which is right there, which is your SSB transmit bandpass filter. The default is 300 to 2700. And uh, that's okay, uh, but if you're doing a contest or other, other busy stuff, I would recommend using 400 to 2600. So we will enter that. If you are uh, doing just a rag chew, then set that for 100 to 2900, and I'll show you that. So this is the, the rag chew. Uh, the, this will set your flat, and we want uh, our, us to have right now 400 to 2600. So we enter that, and now we're going to go down to menu item. Uh, 118, you know, uh, 119, which is your parametric equalizer frequency. Uh, this is the center frequency. You'll, you'll have three sets of these. Let me show you the whole set here. So you see I have frequency, I have level, and I have bandwidth. We're going to set, uh, this is for the low, then we're going to set it for the medium, then we're going to set it for the high. For low, uh, and these are the default values, but for low, we're going to start by setting our frequency to 200. That is the center frequency of our low. Uh, we want to suppress our, our voice, so we're going to go to menu item 120, and we're going to set that for a minus 9. And because there is a difference between a man's voice and a woman's voice, I would recommend that a woman uh, set this for minus seven or minus eight. Now we're going to go to our bandwidth, select that, and we're gonna set that for a five, level five. That is how wide this uh, parametric is gonna be set. 
Now we're going to repeat the crime. We're going to go bring up the next set of three. We're going to select and set that to 900. We're going to set the equalizer level to minus three. And select the bandwidth for five. Finally, we're going to go to the high level and let me bring them all up. And we're going to select that to 2200. So these are your very high frequencies. And we're going to give that one a little bit of amplification. And we're going to set that one to a plus six. And our bandwidth is going to remain at five. Now starting at menu item 128, we have our P parametrics. And we have the same levels. Uh, we're, we're going to set, uh, set these. Right now, these are the defaults. So we're going to uh, select this first one. And we want that to be at 200, which it is. We're going to set our level to a minus 5, no, a minus 10. And we're going to set our parametric uh, bandwidth here to an 8. Remember that these are the ones that are being used if you use speech compression. Now we're going to go down to our next set. And that is going to be at 800. We'll keep that at the default. Uh, we're going to go to 132 and that is going to be a minus 5 and we'll keep that bandwidth at an 8. Now these are the settings that I find best. Again, uh, on that first one, ladies, you might want to uh, raise up your amplitude a little bit. So instead of being a minus 10, maybe you might, might want a minus 8. So now we're going to move down to this last set and uh, we're going to set our frequency. This is our center frequency, 2200. We're going to give ourselves a little bit of ampli amplification this time and set that to a plus seven. And of course, uh, use uh, our bandwidth of eight. So now let's go to the now let's go to the functions. We'll escape the menu, turn on the functions. I've got my my meter set on ALC. I've got my e mic equalizer off, my processor off. I got the mic gain set at zero. So uh, with that set, I am going to uh, start talking into my microphone. Please notice, and this has been true since I started this video. My RF power is set to 5 watts and I am feeding this into a dummy load. So nothing is being transmitted, none of my test messages, nothing like that. In case somebody uh, was going to try to catch me on that. Can't fight me if you can't catch me. So we are right now just using the flat. This is where we want to set our ALC. So I'm going to start talking. So now I'm going to turn up my ALC by adjusting my mic gain. And you should start to see it coming up and right about there, that's good. You'll notice this little blue bar up here in the meter. That is your, your mic gain. And uh, since I'm talking, it's going to be different. You uh, want to have it somewhere. Uh, I have it mine set on 40 right now and that would be a good good value for me. I'm getting close to the top of the meter, but I'm not exceeding the top of the meter. Now, 
at this time I'm going to turn on my mic equalizer and I'm going to click off or get off the mic, turn on my mic equalizer and come up and you'll see something happen to the ALC. Mic equalizer is now on and I'm talking. So you see it's staying pretty much the same. Uh, for now, uh, let's uh, let me go ahead and go to my turn my processor on, and you'll see I'm not getting any ALC. Uh, so you know people will generally start turning it all the way up, and boy, I'm I'm up here at a 70, and I'll tell you this this would be a bad voice if I was monitoring the voice. Uh, but let's go to our uh, change our meter to. Uh, comp uh, compression. Compression. Now, what you want is it to be balanced, your compression to be balanced between 5 and 10. So I can tell you the first thing I'm going to be doing is turning it down. So once I hit the mic, you can see I am plus 20 dB there. So I don't want that much, so we're going to turn our compression. You can see it's sliding, this little slide right underneath the frequency is showing me where my compression is. I want this between 5 and 10 on the, on the peaks. So I'm, I'm getting down here pretty low. Uh, let's see, that there's a compression of 4 right now. Uh, and when I talk into the mic normally, this is the appropriate way to do it. And uh, now my ALC, my voice compression, everything is setting out. And what I am getting out uh, is a just a little extra kick. Uh, just, not even a kick, just a kiss. A kiss is just a kiss. Just enough, just to slightly emphasize my voice. Unless you are operating in a crowded voice band, it's usually best not to apply any processing or compression. Uh, as a side note, you'll also want to skip the extra processing if you're working a USB digital mode such as FT8. Leave it in the flat mode. All of the settings, uh, menus, and functions are meant to give you just a little kick to your transmitted signal. Just a, a kiss to sweeten it up. Unfortunately, many new hams and many more than a few with a bit of experience try to adjust the settings so their signals will be so distorted and overdriven that they cause splatter and interference much, much more than their 3K bandwidth. Uh, they're filling up their bands with their crappy signals that nobody can really understand to begin with. I hope you found this interesting and useful. If so, please give me a like. by popping that thumbs up button. Please share this with your friends and cohorts. What about sharing? Who are just getting into voice modes or maybe brand new on the HF bands. And please leave a comment. Now to leave a great comment. Below with any notes I may have missed or questions that you might have. Finally, please consider subscribing to this channel. I don't subscribe to the wait for dessert rule. It is very much appreciated. You might want to take a look at this video next. 73 until the next Hey Y'all. Thanks for dropping by my shack for a ham shack chat. I'm Tom. My call is ND3N. And I am out.